The debate about reparations has been a hot topic over the last few years. As the cry for racial justice continues all over the world, countries like the US and the UK cannot run from their legacy of slavery, which provided the basis for the wealth they enjoy today. Naturally, the descendants of those slaves that built the West as we know it want a fair slice of the riches that their ancestors created. Most reasonable people understand this. They may argue about the amount of reparations that are owed or even how it should be paid, but they at least agree on the principle that reparations are definitely owed. When it comes to slavery in America, most people who've been paying attention by now should realize that black Americans are without question owed reparations. You might think therefore that the Democrats support reparations when they seem so keen to provide justice for many other groups and even other countries. However, as we've come to realize, this is simply not the case. Not only have the Democrats done virtually nothing on pushing federal government reparations, they actually stand against reparations for black Americans. This is to be expected from Joe Biden who has a terrible track record with black America despite begging them for votes, but is more surprising from Kamala Harris, the country's first black vice president. Do you support reparations for black people? Any policy that will benefit black people will benefit all of society. Let's be clear about that. So I'm not going to sit here and say I'm going to do something that's only going to benefit black people. No. There you have it. Harris does not support anything which will support black people directly. She does, however, support the same for many others and is more than happy to send billions of dollars abroad for wars. What's worse is that come election time, both Harris and Joe Biden will start making big noise about reparations and police reform to convince voters to back them. What's even sadder is that many people will fall for it. But don't get it twisted, we all know that the Republicans are just as racist. The only way the powerful will platform reparations is if we force it onto the agenda. And that is where the political battleground is currently at for this generation and the next.